How do you survive 27 films? You're James Bond. I'm gonna be James Bond. James Bond. It's just incredible. A character who needs no introduction ever since his first appearance in 1962 with Dr. No. Yet despite his appeal, his lines... One of my friend sits this one out. She's just dead. Women, drinking, smoking, and even a $7 billion all-time box office, I want to make it less superficial and simply ask why or how. Nearly 62 years after its first release, without a great loss of enthusiasm, we must begin our shake or not stirred story in May 1939, when a patriotic politician had just annexed Austria and Czechoslovakia into the thousand year German Reich. <laughs> and Britain started to notice, so it got more and more of its people to join the army, and so did this beautiful man, as he joined the British Navy. Nothing to see here starting off as a personal assistant before eventually becoming a commander even helping to plan operations like operation goldeneye nothing to see here along with some other fulfilled tasks until the patriotic politician was found dead in his bunker and germany's surrender on may 8 1945. heaven knows how many other people i've met during the war now that the war is over and many dead injured or even shell shock ian thought it was time to be a genius and started thinking about writing in order to provide some escapism from the horrors of war. So he wrote his first book on January 15th, 1952 and completed it a month and a day later. Just to let you know, that's 2,000 words a day on average. 2,000 words in three hours every morning. Hey Ian, this book has a lot of potential. Can I share a copy? Sure. Well that's awful. No you like it. What? You like it. No, I hate it. You like it. I hate it. You will publish it. I will publish it. Da. Touche. You will publish it. Yes, I will publish it. The publishment was a great success and soon followed with another 13 Bond novels. Even this unknown politician enjoyed a novel like From Russia with Love. Kennedy was an ardent James Bond fan. Ken wow, Ian, I love your work. How much for the rights? Well, you can have all the rights, but you can't use them for more than six months. Deal. Albert, we got it. Great, now we must establish a company in order to produce and release a film version of it. It must have a fine specimen of a name. It should be... Oh. Ian Productions was founded on July 6, 1961, who, out of the next 27 Bond films, were produced 25 of them, with the other two... Yeah. Saltzman and Broccoli first co-produced the films, until Saltzman thought, you know what? I'm done with this. Then Broccoli would produce on his own until 1995 before he died a year later and gave the responsibility to another Broccoli named Barbara. First of all, he's a huge Bond fan. I don't think we would make a Never Say Never. He didn't want to do any more and then we convinced him to do one more. Already an assistant director and associate producer for four Bond movies and the key figure responsible for the modern James Bond, I want you to get your agenda. I'll put some famous franchises above. What do you notice in these three agendas? Look at the differences in quantity. You see, what seems to be one of Barbara's strengths is that she doesn't rush to get more Bond movies out. Even compared to her father, she stays incredibly patient. But... We know that they have high expectations and we don't want to disappoint them. There's another thing movies need. Money. Ever since the first film in 1962, the world's biggest distribution companies all had some role with distributing the Bond franchise, with United Artists releasing and Universal Studios distributing the most recent Bond film. But my point with these giant distribution companies is that it never seems to influence or take huge control over the franchise, which in other cases caused incredible art to absolutely tap. He gets the, he gets the bad guy, but he does it with style. To put these first couple of points in comparison, it's like grandmother makes a cake for you. You find it delicious and you'd like to have some more. But instead of grandmother instantly giving you another slice, she takes her time and doesn't rush to make another one. Whilst at the same time, let's say grandpa finances the ingredients, he never interferes with grandma's recipe. Ooh. But I want to take you on another journey, known as he has evolved, he's always evolved through the years, he's been, you know... Bond is tall, slim, confident, ideal masculine and a standout figure. 
Just look at these photos and how much she stands out from the rest. Being able to visit all these exotic locations and, you know, cars, watches, gadgets, drinks, fight scenes, gambling, women, bedtime, you know, the usual. And I didn't even mention the compelling villains he's always up against. And he has license to be bad. Yes. Uh... And now, can you name one thing that hasn't changed in the past 62 years? In many forms, it's true that the world changes, but the interest in Bond's actions and habits certainly hasn't. Additional with some fun dialogue. But James, I need you. So does England. And the fact that every Bond actor is able to give a slightly different tone, yet maintaining what we love to see. As the weapons of our adversaries. I wanted to add another small detail. Only if you've lived under a nuclear bomb, you know that during the 1960s, America and the Soviet Union were in the midst of the Cold War. And yet when many were frightened to die, a film named From Russia With Love got released and seemed to at least relieve a bit of fear and tension. Or maybe it's just a Bond way of releasing movies, surviving no matter how dangerous. Yes, but you're an experienced journalist. Well, I think it's... This man is Raymond Chandler, an American writer who even before the Bond films came out in 1959, basically described Bond in the simplest way possible. James Bond is what every man would like to be and what every woman would like between her sheets. All we gotta do now is make some notes. Let's see. Broccoli, patience, creative freedom, wish fulfillment, uh, name something, uh, male interest, thank you. Exotic locations, of course. Cars, cool lines. The name's Bond. James Bond. Powerful villains. Albert R. Broccoli left the franchise to his daughter, so I'll also put people who know the character on the list. There you go. Just to realize, all of this began with a simple volunteer for the British Navy. Let me disappear.